Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. This particular problem came up in the Regional Math Olympiad 2024. This is the second level of mathematical Olympiads in India and it's the first problem from that. We will learn quite a bit using this one problem. For example, we will learn how to carefully analyze information. Trust me, this is a very, very important step in solving any problem. How to analyze the question, how to understand the question. There is a beautiful book by Paulia called How to Solve It. It ranks understanding the question very high in the problem solving strategy list. So understanding the question, there are certain strategies to understand a question. I'll talk about that. Okay. And secondly, I will also discuss about a bit of pattern recognition. So that we can solve this problem just by sort of observing certain things. So first, let's understand what the problem is saying. There are certain arrangements of the numbers from 1 to n which are nice arrangements. So 1 to n. To understand the first problem, the first step, the step 1, is to actually choose n. So let's say n equals to 5. Choose n, some number n. What is it saying? That it's an arrangement of the numbers 1 to n. What is an arrangement? It's a1 to an. So we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want to rearrange these numbers. So maybe one rearrangement is 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. So then this is a1, this is a2, this is a3, this is a4, this is a5. Okay? Is this rearrangement nice? What is nice? What is a nice rearrangement? Well, it must satisfy a condition that a1 to ak, that sum, should not be divisible by k for k equal to 2 to n. You have to purse this with this example. See what we are doing. We are trying to understand the problem using a specific example. So, let's see. So, for k equal to 2, we want a1 plus a2 to be not divisible by 2. For k equal to 3, we want a1, a2, a3, this sum, to be not divisible by 3. Similarly, for k equal to 4, we want 4 should not divide a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. And finally, k equal to 5, 4 should, 5 should not divide a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5. Starting from k equal to 2, up to k equal to n, in this case n is 5, each of these cases should be true. If all of these things happen, then we have a nice sequence. We have a nice rearrangement. So, is this nice? Okay, let's check. So, what is a1 plus a2? a1 plus a2 is 2 plus 3, which is 5. Indeed, 2 does not divide 5. The first one works. Very good. Let's go to the second one. What is a1 plus a2 plus a3? a1 plus a2 plus a3 is 2 plus 3 plus 1, which is 6. Oh, that fails because 3 actually divides 6. We, don't, we wanted 3 not to divide 6. k should not divide a1 plus a2 up to a k right so yes this is not a nice not nice in fact that's what the problem says the problem says if n is odd then there is there are no nice rearrangement 
and if n is even well there is a spelling error if n is even we want to find a rearrangement so let's first show the first case when n is odd any odd number can be written as 2 times something plus 1 this is a very useful strategy in solving number theory problems if you are dealing with odd numbers write it in its form 2 times something plus 1 okay so how can we show that every rearrangement of these numbers 1 2 3 up to 2k plus 1 every rearrangement of them is not nice well wait whenever we have a rearrangement it will fail those tests how can we show it there are so many rearrangements right um, question how many rearrangements are there of these numbers 1 2 up to 2k plus 1 why are none of them nice because if you go to the final step in the final step what you want you want 2k plus 1 which is n not to divide a1 plus a2 up to a 2k plus 1 but what is a1 plus a, a uh, sorry yeah a1 plus a2 up to a n yeah so here n is 2k plus 1 you don't want 2k plus 1 or n to divide a1 up to a n but what is a1 up to a n well it is 1 2 3 2k plus 1 these numbers in some order right so if you add them up you will still get 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 2k plus 1 so you can use sum of natural numbers formula or gauss's formula to show say, see that this is 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 1 by 2 which is 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 2 divided by 2 which is 2k plus 1 into k plus 1 right this one and this one cancels to give you k plus 1 which means that the sum is divisible by 2k plus 1 which is n okay so whatever happens before the final step in maybe it worked in all the previous steps but in the final step whatever your rearrangement is your sum would always be divisible by the number itself number of numbers n okay so for n odd obviously there are no nice rearrangements what if n is even the question says for n even find a nice for n is even find a nice rearrangement okay how can we do that the clue is let your brain do the work choose some even number maybe n equal to 4 maybe n equal to 6 choose some even number and try to create let your brain create a rearrangement which is not nice so what i'll do is i'll play a game 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's work with 6 you will see the pattern so obviously we'll start with k equal to 2 so if I just put 1 and 2 as the first two numbers, a1 and a2, obviously 2 won't divide 1 plus 2, which is odd. Okay, so now if I go to 3, if I go to 3 and if I put a3 as 3, then my experiment will fail because 1 plus 2 plus 3, 3 is an odd number, is divisible by 3. That's what we proved in the last plate. So instead of 3, let's put one more than three let's put four so a3 is four so what i'm going to do is i'll be swapping three and four so a4 is three okay so a3 is four means if it if, if a3 was three 
then the sum would have been divisible by 3, as we saw in the last case. But since we have one more than that, now the remainder is 1. So up to this, we are done. And for even numbers, the sum of the numbers is never divisible by the number. You can check. For example, if we have an even number 2k, so if I add the numbers 1 plus 2 up to 2k, then this is 2k into 2k plus 1 by 2, which is k into 2k plus 1, and this is not divisible by 2k. Can you give me a final argument in the chat why this is, this is never divisible by 2k, okay? All right. So now we, we are done up to A4. What about A5? Okay, we play the same game again. If I put 5 here, then the sum would be divisible by 5. So instead of that, what we'll do is we will again swap it. 5 and 6 we will swap. So 6 and 5. Now you see the pattern, right? 1 to 6, you swap every two of them. In fact, you can swap 1 and 2 as well if you want. And you would get a nice rearrangement. So this problem basically tests your problem solving skill. Pattern recognition, example construction, and some very tiny tools like sum of numbers, stuff like that. So it's not very complex, but you have to break it down. You have to really understand what the problem is asking and accordingly approach it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something, especially the problem solving strategies. I'll see you in the next one. Keep on doing great mathematics and have fun. Okay, bye.